Today we're going to be installing the Ecobee thermostat and replacing this basic thermostat coming up next. Hi, I'm Justin from Simply Smart, and today we are installing the Ecobee 3 thermostat. And what that will do is it will give us much more control of our heating and air conditioning, saving us money and making it more convenient. There's also room sensors that go in different rooms, so it gives you the average of all of the rooms plus the thermostat location, and that gives you a better overall comfort and saves you money because it knows when you're not home. Okay, the first step is to download the app that comes with Ecobee. So I already have one installed upstairs. We're just installing our downstairs unit now. So I already have the app downloaded. To add a new device, you just click on the top and click Add Device Install. And then we're gonna go ahead and install a device. We just choose our device. We have the Ecobee 3, so we're gonna choose that. Gives you a list of everything that comes in the box. Next on that, what you're gonna need is a drill, drill bit, and a screwdriver. And then it gives you five simple steps to install. So step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. Very easy. Power off your system. So we're gonna to have to power off our system and remove the old thermostat, identify your wiring, connect your Ecobee, and then power on your system. So I'm gonna go ahead and go power off the system now, and I will be right back. Okay, so our system is now powered off. So now we can start to remove our old thermostat. And just make sure there's no air coming out of the vents. Make sure that your um, screen is blank. We have that. All right, so we're gonna remove our old thermostat cover. And every thermostat is a little bit different, um, but they all should about pop off just by like gentle twisting motion. So that's how mine was on there. It just, you know, pushes into these pins here. And this is the main, the brains of the old thermostat here. I'm gonna open this up. And what we're checking here is for compatibility. Terminals block listed L1 or L2, or anything labeled 110, 120, or 240 volts, um, which we don't have any of that. Um, we just have a green, a yellow, black, a red, and a white. So we are good there. And it wants us to take a picture of this. So I'll go ahead and take a picture just so we have it to reference. All right, so we got a picture. And go to next. All right, identify your wiring. So what it's gonna do is, um, you're just gonna have to identify your wiring. Now some thermostats have double labels Ours are just single, so we're just gonna have, um, do you have two sets of labels on your thermostat? No, we do not. Click no. And then it's gonna say, which ones do we have? So we're gonna go with a Y for yellow, the G for green, um, C is black, white, and red. Go ahead and hit next. And now it says great, you do not have a C wire, so we don't have to use the power extender kit provided. So we're gonna skip over that. All right, and we're gonna disconnect our wires and label them. So the Ecobee comes with all these little labels here. So you can easily just take these labels, put them on the wires, that way you know exactly which ones they went to before. And some of these labels actually have two. So W slash W1, um, OB, you know, RH, you know, there's different ones. So I recommend using this. So now we have our 
wire is labeled, I can go ahead and remove this piece here. Alright, so now we have to choose our trim plate. So, this is what the Ecobee looks like when we when you first get it. Um, it's got a little plastic cover here. This is the Ecobee brain. This is what the back looks like. This is a sensor. Very small. This is the plate I'm going to have to use here um, because these holes here with the smaller plate, um, which is what comes on here, it's just not going to cover. It's too small. So we're going to have to use this larger plate. The center part of the smaller trim plate comes out of here and will drop into the larger trim plate. Just put this right into the larger plate, just like that, clips in, and then we have our wires coming through here. Okay, and now we need to mount this. Okay, now we need to connect our wires. All right, now we're ready to put the front part on. So we're gonna take off this protective plastic. And it should just press on. There we go. And now we just need to power on our system. All right, and you can see our Ecobee is starting up here. And we have a little bee. I think we have RC only. Yep, we got RCG. Correct. Yes. Do you have all of these accessories installed? Prefer Fahrenheit. I think all of this stuff is correct. And we'll just choose downstairs for the name because that's where we are downstairs. Next through this, this is basically saying set your ideal temperature. Next, what is the current mode of your HVAC system? Summer, so we're on cool. Next, and this is asking if you want to use smart home in a way, and what that will do is it will use the motion sensors built into the thermostat and the motion sensors built into all of the sensors to determine whether anyone is home or not. So we're gonna enable that for sure. We are in the United States. Our time zone is New York. And 
we need to connect it to our Wi-Fi. So I'm going to hit next there. Let's select. Um, let's use our phone, actually. So we're going to use our phone. Go to Wi-Fi. Select the ECOB. Select the network that we want to use. So it's network here. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And it is now joining the network. Alright, Wi-Fi status, configured network, connecting to ecob.com. And it looks like this is probably going to take a little while. Alright, connection complete. Go next here. Um, all of that looks good. Now we are getting a registration code. All right, so now at the top of this screen here, we just have to enter our code. And the ECOB can provide weather info on your thermostat and optimize the operation of your heating and cooling system. So yes, we definitely want to do that. So now it says that we are registered. I'm going to hit OK. And next, let's see if we can just use this. There we go. Let's proceed that way. Um, Ecob can track your HVAC system usage and energy consumption and provide information on energy characteristics of your house. So we definitely want to keep Home IQ on so we can get those statistics. And here you can put in your home details. So home type. It's going to be a detached house. Square footage right in this range here, number of floors, two, home was built in 2010s, and we're going to go ahead and hit next there, and it can, congratulations, you have successfully added your thermostat to your Ecob account, done. As you can see um, on the screen, the little snowflake means you're on cool. This is your humidity level right next to the little uh, raindrop. This is your current temperature. And um, this is your set temperature. And down here at the bottom, you have your weather. So this is, will tell you all your weather coming up and all of that, those details. Um, over here, you have your settings. So if you want to do um, set it away or set it for home now or change this these general little settings here quickly you can um, on this menu here is where you're gonna get all of your your menus okay so these are the sensors here um, this is the motion sensor and then there's also a temperature sensor built in and when it comes there's a little tab on the back you pull that out to you know make contact with the battery and then it should pop up on here and we should be able to add that to the thermostat. They do come with little stands so you can set them on a desk or on a shelf or or something like that um, or they come with wall mounts as well so if you just want to stick it on the wall somewhere um, you could do that as well. So we are going to pull this tab out. It's a tough little guy. There we go. And then this should be popping up on here. So it pops up and says remote sensor. You appear to have a remote sensor installed. Would you like to pair it to your Ecobee? Let's hit yes. And then we need to name this. We're gonna name it bedroom. I'm gonna change it to master later. I'm gonna hit next. And then you get to choose what your sensor does, whether it senses to make changes when you're home, away, and sleeping. So I'm going to say yes to all of those and hit next. And now your sensor is paired. So it's finish. And now you can see that we have our downstairs thermostat and then also our bedroom set up there. And let's get the other two done. So 
So now we have all of our sensors set up. We have our thermostat set up. So you can see all of our sensors here. What you do is you want to put the sensors in hot spots and cold spots in your house so that you're always comfortable. And it's only going to take these sensors into consideration if there's motion. If there is no motion, no considering that thermostat. It only considers that um, if there's motion in that room. So if you put it in your bedroom and you're not in your bedroom all day, it's not going to care what the temperature is in there because you're not there to keep you comfortable. Um, but when you are in your bedroom sleeping at night, it's going to take that um, into consideration and it's going to make you the most comfortable you can be. I hope you found that video helpful. I'll go ahead and leave links in the description um, for everything um, so you can find everything you need and get it set up. But I hope that helped. Um, once again, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home as easy as one, two, three.